200 years ago, there was an animal that made a very big impact on this country. For more than 10,000 years, since the last ice age, beavers were on the landscape throughout North America. This landscape used to be filled with millions and millions of beavers. The landscape looked totally different 200 years ago. They were everywhere. They were in all the streams. And then suddenly they were gone. We did a really good job of almost exterminating this incredibly influential critter, this ecosystem engineer. But by the time the West was settled, it was already different than what it had been originally, just by the removal of the beaver. So people came in thinking this, this is what a stream looks like, when it was not what a natural stream looked like. The fact that they're missing is something that is radical. It's important to recognize that we're missing something that is a key player in our streams. When we lost beavers, we lost ecosystem function. In the face of climate change, one of the things that we've got to do is put some pieces back. Climate change is projected to have some pretty dramatic impacts on water in the West. Less precipitation, more prolonged droughts are going to make for less water being available. Rising air temperatures are going to warm that water. Decreased snowpacks and earlier melt of that snow will result in lower summer flows just at the time the demand for water is greatest. Beavers provide a huge ecosystem function by storing water in these headwater systems. And that water would be very useful for mitigating for some of the effects of global climate change. Treating beaver restoration as a legitimate management activity is perhaps one of the most important things that we could be doing in our land management agencies for climate change. I like working for an agency where one of our main goals is restoring ecosystem function. One of our major, major priorities is the restoration of our ecosystems. It's less about extraction uh, and about commodities and more about restoring systems and using the natural processes that we have and that we know about, and beavers happen to be one of those. Beavers are a keystone species. Their dam building is the keystone function that they provide. If we have beavers in an ecosystem, that ecosystem is held up. If we don't have beavers there, it collapses. Beaver are your rare story of we don't have to do much and a lot gets changed. We get a beaver dam complex in a particular creek and that creek has been given a new life. So we're in North Creek west of Escalante, and this is the kind of valley that beaver love to be in. What we have is an utter transformation with just one family of beavers building two dams and transforming a kind of desert upland southern Utah area into a wetland. The dams that beaver build deliver some really important functions. First of all, they slow floodwaters, trapping sediment, creating wetlands, increasing the size of floodplains, all of which increases the capacity of storage of water as groundwater, where it's cooled and released slowly throughout the year. It's just a reversal of the trends we're seeing with climate change. What beaver can do if they're allowed to is mind-boggling. There's no other animal that does that kind of transformation, almost literally overnight. This valley has probably been a beaver valley for tens of thousands of years, and it's just great to have them home. Climate change is creating a crisis, and the crisis is that we're really running out of water in a lot of the West. It's also an opportunity, and it's an opportunity to figure out how to do stream restoration right. A common perception in stream restoration is that we're engineers, people are engineers, and we can do a better job than nature. We can rebuild streams, but you know, we often try to mimic 
a shape or a form, and we don't necessarily understand all the dynamics that are going on. Beavers have evolved in that dynamic setting. What we're throwing in now is we're throwing in life. We're throwing in biology. All of a sudden, you're not just talking about sediment and water as the, the materials that you're using to restore a stream, and that changes everything. The Bridge Creek Project is this long-term project to recover habitat essential for ESA-listed salmon. And the tool we're using to do that is beaver. We've always had beavers here on Bridge Creek, but they, without any big materials, they really had trouble building long-lasting complexes and dams that were really persistent over the years. We kind of knew what the impairment was, so we just wanted to give them a little push. And then maybe we can get this stream back up on its floodplain and get that that habitat complexity back. We're simply going in, taking a hydraulic post pounder. If there's a beaver dam there, we're putting the post through the beaver dam and reinforcing it. If there isn't a dam there and we want a dam there, we put a post line in and we build a beaver dam analog. We've been able to kind of direct and kind of encourage beavers to go to areas of channel that need that intervention and really set up shop there and establish these long-term persistent complexes. This was a stream that during the summertime, the water is only a couple inches deep. But now we have these pools that they're up to your chest and they're everywhere. That's a lot of water that's being held up in the system that releases throughout the summer. We are accelerating these recovery processes that might take decades to centuries to even millennia, and we are cutting them down to years to decades, and it is really cost effective. We could restore an equivalent amount of habitat as more expensive engineering approaches for just a fraction of the cost. We are seeing such drastic changes with climate drought in particular, so, so we got to get on it. And uh, we got the, the perfect partners for the job. <laughs>
As we face the big challenges of climate change, this is an easy choice. What other ecosystem engineer do we have that so radically rearranges the system for the better? Using beavers as a form of stream restoration just makes a lot of sense to me. Beaver can do what we can't. They can restore streams quickly, cost effectively, and they're going to be around for the long haul. To me, it's one of the best things you can do with your money. You can enhance the habitat on an entire subwatershed in a big way, and it'll stay there for a long time. Beavers are out there working 24 hours a day, every day, all year long, and they're going to continue to do that for their lifetime and their kids' lifetime and their kids' lifetime. This, in fact, is a win for the agencies, a win for the NGOs, a win for the public, and a win for the landscape. In the beginning, we viewed beavers as a commodity belonging to us. Today, I think we need to view beavers as part of a community to which we all belong. If we do, together we're going to be part of a solution. These species that we have been trying to manage have something to tell us and that can actually help us get where we need to go.